to do at the end was just to show some of the things that are happening at Fenton Elementary. I'm um, very, very proud of all of our teachers, and I think it was a big culture shift at our school whenever we took this UT class because um, there's a lot of collaboration, not only with teachers, but I think students. And you can see the students are engaged. I feel like they're, they're engaged. They're taking ownership of their learning. And I think um, part of that is some of those gaps are being filled whenever they do their individual learning that they're able to move on and participate. And um, let's see, so this is a little boy in a room. He's using, um, he's on ST Math, so he's using his tiles. And then he's actually putting them up on there. And this is a fifth grade science classroom and he's, uh, Mr. Gonzalez is going over a whole group before they're about to uh, go in. Um, I just wanted to share this picture because when the students are at their desk working on their, um, you know, individual uh, lessons, whatever it is on um, the computer, they do eventually meet with the teacher. And I just think that this was a, just a good example when I walked into this classroom of the amount of preparation and how you know prepared you have to be whenever you have a small group coming at you. You have to you know, um, know what you're gonna do because you only meet with them for what, 15, 20 minutes at a time. Um, uh, this was different stations and it tells you exactly what you need to do. Um, this right here is an ST math accomplish log. So what they do, I know it's kind of blurry, but the students are in charge of completing this on their own after they log off of ST math. Another idea, um, this right here, I just wanted to show warm up stations. It can be as easy as just writing it on the board, the, what the rotation looks like, or it can be on the computer, you know, on the, what, the flat panel. And uh, a lot of our teachers do use the different teams and that was shared throughout the learning walks. Um, let's see this one. So th those are just some plans that uh, for an independent station. Um, and it just shows right here, they're working on different things. She's using her fingers, whatever works. Um, I know somebody, I think it was Aaron went over Education Galaxy. So this teacher is explaining the green, the yellow, the red process and kids are going on there to go um, to get on the ones that they need help on. This is also an example of a different schedule um, somebody uses for blended learning. Um, I think that's Lacey's classroom. Uh, this is an example of an ELA. Um, a checklist is what she calls it. And the reason it, it gives kids, it tells them what they have to do on Monday, but they can choose to do it in whatever order, whatever order they wanna do. And then at the end of the day or the end of their period, it has to be done. And then this is just an example of um, the teacher had did a, something, the kids had did something on the computer and then she's meeting with them. So this just shows you that it doesn't have to be traditionally around a um, small group table. And uh, I moved that to this one. And I just like how engaged the, the kids are in this picture. And then here's another example of a teacher meeting with her group during her rotations. And 